Eric Tudor, the difference is the age. He's 20 years old. They're about the same size. He gave up a couple pounds to Dante Stubbs, but he's 3-0, three, three KOs. They've been impressive. Can he make it four in a row tonight? That's coming up. Eric Tudor against Dante Stubbs. Our ring announcer for tonight, the one and only Joe Martinez. We're set to go in six rounds this scheduled in the middleweight division. Your three judges scoring at ringside on the 10-point must system, Jose Cobian, Eddie Hernandez Jr., and Damian Walton. And when the action begins inside the ring, your referee in charge, Ray Corona. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing red trimmed in black, he weighed in officially 157.6 pounds. In 10 fights, his record stands in six victories with four defeats and two wins coming by way of out from Riverside, California. Here is Dante Stubbs. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white with gold, he weighed in 154 pounds even. In two bouts, he stands perfect with two victories. Both wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Hollywood, Florida. Here is the undefeated Eric Tudor. Ray Corona, the third man in the ring. We are getting ready to go. Thank you for joining us wherever you may be. Golden Boy Fight Night. You're on the zone and also on Golden Boy's YouTube page. Eric Tudor. That's ready. Dante Studs representing ready. Riverside, California. Five fights coming your way, or we are underway in Indio, California. Eric Tudor, a 20 year old. He's Young man with Romanian roots. His father's from Romania, so he was able to try to qualify for the Olympics on the Romanian banner. He won some national champions for them, but he lives in Hollywood, Florida. Only 20 years old, Bernard. And in our fighter meetings, doesn't speak much, but he is laser focused, wasn't he? Yeah, and not only was he laser, laser focused, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> laser focused, he was also. Um, really adamant about what he wants to do going forward. Uh, very confident, um, you know, predicting that he will win impressively. And you know, he, he, he has the look, he has his lean body, and, and you know what, I'm looking for um, in this fight for him to uh, prove what he was saying yesterday and go forward after that. But right now, um, I, I like what he says, I like how he looks, I like how he's being patient. Yeah, trained by Derek Santos, Boca Pal in South Florida. As Derek said, he's very, very professional. His attitude, do not have to tell him anything twice. And he wants to work with everybody in the gym. I mean, he's like, he's a guy that, that spoke it. You know, I, I didn't know too much about him, but his trainer spoke highly of him, and he spoke, you know, what he wanted to do, um, Eric, uh, in the future. It's a lot of work with a good friend of ours, Chris Algieri. Now, broadcaster, a fighter in his own right, and Chris said, I love sparring with him. This kid has a lot of potential. So when the veteran pros are talking about you like that, you know it's something. Exactly, and, and, and trust me, Chris, you know what he's talking about when he gives him that, that stamp of approval that he has something to work with from here. Don, on. Dante Stubbs, Savage is his nickname. He's 27 years old. He's six and four from Riverside, California, but he's also a guy who as he said, I've never had a camp. I just take fights when I get them. He knows his role in the sport, but for the first time, he's actually starting to take it serious for this fight. Not that he wasn't serious, but just the training wasn't there. And that's what, that's what I, I asked him a couple of questions about, you know, what, what was the problem or, you know, why you come in uh, unprepared. And, and, and he gave it, you know, his account of it. But, you know, you, you can't take that into the next fight if I'm his opponent. If I'm Eric, I'm looking at him like this guy, this guy might wake up uh, with me and, and start winning. So I can't make that happen. That's the way I got from Eric on his counter uh, response to that. Um, but you know, both these guys are still at a young career, young age, and it matters now. Final seconds of the opening round, scheduled for six. Here, Golden Boy Fight Night in Indio, California.
<laughs> Working our way towards Tito Costa against Jan Diego <laughs> Rivera, battle of Puerto Rican fighters. <laughs> After this fight, it's going to be Jimmy Brennan taking on Hector Perez. And there you see Derek Santos with and then Mario Eric Tudor. Looks like Joel Diaz is working as a cut man tonight. Hey, Diaz is going to be in the main event with Tito Acosta. Here's see what he's got now, right? Start circling and painting and go with the double jab for your combinations, okay? Good way to bring your hand back after you shot there, okay? Go we'll talk to about the side. all that's going right, on in boxing, but let's see some highlights here, Bernard. You see that right hand on, over the hand right on top of the head. I don't think it was a, but that much of a solid shot, but it got his attention. You see him tap it back in his right head, Eric himself. I do want to see a little bit more aggressiveness from both guys to, to really try to get the respect to go on to the next rounds, but right now they're trying to fill each other out. Eric Tudor, his last fight was in April. I was in Mexico, a first round knockout. He went down there to get fights. He turned pro this year. It was the first time he's fighting somebody with a winning record than Dante Stubbs. Stubbs, we've seen him around the Southern California club scenes. He's fought on Thompson shows. He's fought uh, different er venues. Always the B-side. And he said, this is the first time I actually hired a strength and conditioning coach because he's starting to realize, Bernard, you start losing, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna be the B side, but it's, you're, you're gonna be looked at a different way. Also. Yeah, and, and he's talked about, as you mentioned, the, the, his gas tank, you know, how he, you know, got tired for certain fights. And I, you know, and another thing, you gotta fill your gas tank up if you're looking to go uh, in this sport long in your career. So uh, he mentioned it, so he's conscious of it. So let's see if he uh, really live up to what he said that he did prior to uh, this fight that he got ready, and his gas tank is full. And worked a couple of his fights on the club scenes, and he's knocked guys down early, but then takes the foot off the gas pedal, and he said he just gasses out. So he goes for broke in the second and third round. He's looking like he's starting to pick up the speed here. And, and if I was Eric, and, and, and I know I watched fights before Eric took this fight, he has to go ahead now and just put the pressure on him and make him fight where he can lose, you know, use some of that energy, use some of that 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 intensity. And so if he gets tired, then Eric be able to capitalize on that. And look, Dante would be looking like, you know, where's the gas tank? If he have it, he'll prove it, and it will show. Yeah, Stubbs was recently sparring Jaime Munguia in Big Bear. He's been used by Triple G in four different camps. A good body shot landed by Eric Tudor. The Triple G uses him four times. Munguia has used him. He said, I've learned in those camps not to fold. And as we mentioned in the meeting, Bernard, like, wait, are you comfortable just being a sparring partner and getting paid like that? And it seemed like that's what he, his role has been. And, yeah. and mentally, he goes in there with that mentality. You know, and, you know, you hear a lot of talk, and, uh, you know, when they had a fighters meeting, they talked to us and we asked them questions. But, you know, it really counts. They know uh, the next day when they got a fight, like now. And so let, let's see if that one just, if it was just talk or was it something that he corrected. 20-year-old Eric Tudor going to the body as he starts to the left. Good combination, but it was, it was one or two punches before then. It was a three-punch combination, and two of them got in. If he can do more, more of that, then, then Eric has to really adjust to it, uh, what he's doing now, and it's not actually getting his respect from Stubbs. I like to see Stubbs go to the body. He's able to lean. Eric is tall. The body is right there. Uh, I haven't seen Stubbs try to use uh, that type of advantage and work that body, which will kill, you know, the hands of the
So Eric Tudor getting some rounds in finally in his young career. And he's getting a little brave too. He's getting a little, you know, they warmed up and, and they see that he got some, some action with the body shots. And, and he wants to press him there. He hits behind the head, Rick Corona gets in there and stops him. Check him, let's go. Stubbs has never been stopped. Fighting the fourth undefeated opponent in last five fights for Dante Stubbs. So he knows what's going on. And, and he knows how to survive. And he, he, trust me, he knows how to, to stay in the game. And, and let's see if he can add that he wants to win to that. And that's where Eric has, has to adjust to what comes to him. Stubbs the southpaw, but he'll mix it up in the round. Looks like that. We had a couple fights in the bubble at MGM on top of the right shows. And I loved it. There was nobody there. It's great. Nobody's bothering me. This guy's wired different, Bernard. Yeah, he, he is. You know, he's, he, he has an old soul with a young body and a young career. And, you know, when you hear these things, you're like, oh, wait a minute. I don't hear this from a, a, a normal guy with, with a few fights. But let me tell you, uh, he, he talks well. He looks good. And, and he's working on his uh, combinations more, uh, he said, in the gym. And I want to see him do it now, where it counts. Uh, I like to see him throw a little bit more jabs and meaningful jabs and then let the right hand follow uh, those jabs. Dante Stubbs, 6'4", his record from Riverside, California. He breeds French Bulldogs. Hit by the body by Eric Tudor, the 20-year-old, who, as he said, is in bed by 8 o'clock and he does nothing. Like, you haven't posted on Instagram in a couple months. He's like, I don't, I don't like it. Like, this, this is a different 20-year-old also. Yeah, but, you know, he, he's focused on staying, um, you know, focused on boxing or winning and on learning. I mean, he talked about learning and, and getting different techniques from his trainer and, and wanted to put him to effect. You see that one, two? That was a good right hand, and, and it got Stubbs' attention. Jabs. The body shot from Tudor, you hear it. And this is the learning process in a young career like this because both guys, you know, have had little fights, you know, not that many fights, but um, but this is where you learn. You see them starting to loosen up and take chances now and really trade uh, with each other. And that's the good thing that both guys now wants to establish their dominance, dominance to each other. Final seconds of the third Stop round. The belt, and Stubbs, Thursday night boxing. Both guys exchange yeah. good punches. Dante Lanza says, give me another one. You need a little while there. Yeah, guys. Hey. Do it for three. Thursday night boxing here in Gandil, California. Busy week for Golden Boy, because Saturday, Sudo Ramirez from Sinaloa takes on Rosa, accidental headbutt. There's no cut. In Side Bernard Hopkins, a Hall of Famer, and Randy Flores, ringside reporter. You guys wipe up this water real quick. Good experience for 20-year-old Eric Tudor. Wipe up this water. You can train all you want, you can spar all you want, but it's you actually get in the ring and get real rounds. That's what matters. It, 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 that matters, and it's experience that you you're gaining. Thank you. You can't, you know, you can't pay for that. You you have to you have to earn it, and it comes with time. But I like to see uh, Dante a little bit more aggressive because you look at his style, you look at his his lack of condition. He was breathing really hard when we went to the corner. I, if he makes the fight ugly but makes it tough and rough, I think that Eric will have to adjust to that, and I don't think he's going to react real real positive to it. 
the first time that Tudor had an assistant in scrum. Mind you, he's 20 years old. They're bringing him along real slow. But oh, there's Dante no, no, stop, stop, stop. swing and a miss. I've seen that in the three fights I've worked with him. He always goes for one of those big haymakers. And you know why? You're desperate. You're tired. When you're tired, man, you're a desperate man. And, and that's why that punch came from the other side of the ring. And you know what? Eric didn't count on that. And, and that's something that, you know, he probably look at when you look at this fight, that he must make him pay. You make him miss, you make him what? Pay. And you do see Dante Stubbs in the red. Work, guys, work out of there. Heavy a free here pull we ask him, let's go. You said your conditioning's not really, do you run? Arm up. Arm up. He you hesitated to answer, didn't he? Yeah, that, that means sometimes. <laughs> Because he's breathing. He went to the corner in the last round and he was legs out and he didn't really sit on the stool uh, completely. He, he, he's sort of gassing now. Let's see if he can catch his win and throw some punches and try to stay in the fight. But it looks like he's gassing. Eric Tudor in white. His longest fight to date was a minute 15 into the second round. And he's getting work tonight, he's getting experience. One thing I like about Eric, what he's doing, though, he's keeping just, look at his feet, his, his, his position, he's just enough uh, distance to be able to hit and really not get countered. And that's the thing, just did a good roll, uh, head roll, shoulder roll, and, and they need to counter when he do that. He throws the right hand after he make that roll and that move, that move is to set up the right hand. That right there, we're talking about right, Bernard, uh, just one winging it. That yeah, one winging is like trying to, like, you know, hit the lottery. You, 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 you must play more than once. You must throw more than once to be able to, to be effective. So what's Tudor got to do? So Tudor has to understand that, like, he must go in there and, and let them hands go and keep his distance enough where he can't get hit, but he can hit, and just throw punches. Throw punches and let him overwork You're himself. You're the bell, guys. Stubbs. Stubbs try to get out of the way and try to fight his way back. Nice move, nice move, nice move. Hey. Hey. Thursday night boxing, our main event, Tito Acosta, desde San Juan, Puerto Rico. Mi viejo San Juan. He's in his locker room, getting relaxed, getting loose, just starting to stretch out. Um, he's our fifth fight tonight. He's our first one in the ring right now. That's the main event as he takes on Yan Yen Rivera, his opponent. He's lost his last five, but he said tonight, yeah, I have a different attitude. Yes, I'm fighting my friend, but tonight he's not my friend at all. And he's laser focused immediately. He's getting his hands grabbed. That's our main event coming up later on tonight. So Luis Talente or something like in Puerto Rico. There you see Derek Santos, trainer of Young Boy. Take your time, We've seen him. He had a good little fight, man. Good fight, guys man. down in South Florida. It's good work with those guys. Welcome home. Fifth round of action for Eric Tudor. Quality rounds, Bernard. For a young fighter, that's very important. He's in school. This is school right now. You you must get that that schooling to go on to college. Your arms and let me up, tell guys. you, your arms up. these are the fights your hands are free. that young really fighters cool. need. Not just the knockout the first round, because yeah, you got the knockout, but what have you learned from that knockout? Yeah, you mentioned school. Asked a tutor he went to high school. He said, "Well, like, well, what does that mean?" He's like, I was enrolled yeah. online, but because he was traveling so much for it, uh, he was homeschooled, and he's like, "My school was in the gym." So that's how locked in and focused he is for the young man, Eric Tudor. Look at the coffee box numbers, power punches through four, half of them being landed by Eric Tudor. No surprise there. I'm really waiting on one of these guys to start, you know, getting in the mindset of setting each other up, or at least uh, Eric, um, who's looking like more fresher, uh, you know, than Stubbs, to be able to go ahead and throw a combination and set him up and still go back to the body so he can bring himself back to balance. And the balance is key when you throw three or four punches because you want to be set. Body Just shot. like that, exactly. That's what you're looking for. Right there, those, those moments when you're right there, he must throw those punches and take that step to the side. Make him miss, make him pay. I don't see him doing that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure once this fight is over with, they will look at the fight later on, and they will see the, the opportunities that, that Eric had that he didn't capitalize on. 
It's the first time he's actually had an opponent that's willing to trade with him to step in there. Exactly. He just threw four or five punch combination. That's what I'm talking about. He got the look. He got the lean body. He got the reach. Stay at distance, but not too close to be able to be to be effective like he just did. To the corner of stuff. We got to stay busy. Work, guys. Your hands are free. Pull out of there. Come on. Work. Keep on working. Stop. The fifth round scheduled for six. Our opening bout tonight. Dante Stubbs in red. Eric Tudor, the 20 year old with Romanian roots. His younger brother, 16 years old. He also trains with him. He's sparring partners. Watch behind the head. Watch that. Punch it behind the head. Let's go. Put you know, this out. generation of boxing, Take a step back. Um, majority of them want to make a, they want to make a statement when they go in the ring because they want to be talked about. They want to be known. So these are fights that the ones that's listening at home is watching the fight. They must make statements. And, and that's what Eric talked about yesterday at the fighters meeting that, you know, he wants to make a statement. I'm waiting to see that statement. You're going to stop with the bell. Well, we see it in the sixth round as we're wrapping up the fifth year. In Indio, California, Eric Tudor looking good here. Fourth fight. Last round. 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 There's this combination, three, four, five punch combination. Right. And you know, it wasn't hard punches, but they were effective punches, and they points added up. And it gets the rhythm for Eric to do things right, like this with the jab, back off with the jab, and see if there's some more openings there. That was a really good way to, to, to get loose and hey, also to get Let's work, come on. That's what, we, that's what we came for, let's work. We can't just stand around him and look at him. This is the last round, you gotta get to work. All right, get to work. We, we, this, listen. What did I tell you? We have no more chances. Let's go. Let's go. Second down. What did we tell you? We have no more chances. I mean, this is it. I mean, this is what was said. Now he must got one round to make it happen. And this is where Eric has to be aware, but he also has to still fight. Eric's still in the fight. He just got hit row head right. Um, he took it pretty well. But I, I, this is where he has to be careful, but he has to be active. Also. Good body punch. shot from Good Tudor. Punch. Good one. That's what Bernard wanted to see. Now you see it in Bernard, the yes. combinations. Yes, I, I wish it would have happened earlier because it would put that investment in you to cash out later. Good punch by Tudor. And Stubbs said, come on, bring it. Well, you got tagged. But he's definitely a tough guy. Oh, yeah. You said earlier, he's been in it with sparring partners like Triple G and other people. He, he know how to take a punch. He know how to survive. And, and you know what? You still continue to punch him from Eric. Stiff jab landed by Tudor. All right. Love came out of the kitchen sink the first 10 seconds and out could he gas himself. But he, he's sneaky. I think he's playing possum. He's waiting. Then he'll hang, throw a hanger, made, a, hanger <laughs> a hanger punch, you know, haymaker too, right behind that because he's waiting to peekaboo and try to sneak a shot in. And Eric has to be careful because, you know, he has to be aware of that. Tudor moving around in white in the sixth and final round. Dante nah, nah, Stubbs. Don't do that. Let's go. Put your arms out. Let's go. Work. Stop. Take a step back. Both of you. Eric Tudor. Body work from Tudor. One punch at a time, though, over the body. Good at slipping those punches. The corner of Stubbs. Come on. Let's get to work. You can hear them giving instructions. I mean, Eric got a good jab. He can throw a jab from the hip. He can throw a jab from the shoulder. I like that he can throw Stop. these punches and still be on, and, and on balance to be able to see if he got another opportunity with a right hand or another jab. Minute to go in the fight. He got hit with a good uppercut because he leaned right in without throwing anything coming in. So he got caught with an uppercut. It wasn't, a, it wasn't powerful, but it was an uppercut that popped his head out. Tudor, this could be his first real fight. His three other fights were minimal resistance. Tonight he's had to work it. You can see some blood from the nose of Stubbs here with 30 seconds to go in the fight. Being smart is Eric Tudor also. Yeah, that, you know, showing some ring generalship, but you know, uh, stop, stop. he's a little winded. It's been like a grueling fight. Huh? 
Stubbs been on him. He's never took a step back. You know, he continued to come forward. You gotta stop with the bell. It's tagged. Tagged. Oh, that'll do it. Six good rounds. Fun round between Eric Tudor and Dante Stubbs. They go to the distance and it'll go to the judges' scorecards between the 20-year-old Tudor and that 27-year-old Stubbs representing Riverside, California. You know, Bernard, I've said this many times, I've worked with you and other partners in the Chicago District and here at Ring Magazine. Getting round as a 20-year-old, 21-year-old, the first 10 fights, that's it's not bad. important. It's not that's bad. important. That's very important because, you know, we all want to see knockouts and everything, but you also know that getting rounds in is going to school. We talk about school. You got, you got elementary school, then, then you got uh, middle school, then you, you know, you're on the high school. So these are rounds and moments that build greatness. And most importantly now for Derek Santos and his team, they go back to Florida and an opportunity to actually have some tape to watch. I'm pretty sure they both be back in the gym, especially Eric, because he wants to be one of the greats and he has to work to get there. So I'm looking for a lot of great things from this guy. Yeah, a lot of potential. Looks good. Good team behind him. He'll go to the his father is Romanian. So that's why he was able to qualify and represent Romania. Uh, he had Olympic aspirations, but he missed out on some of the qualifiers. Uh, so hey, forget it. Let's just go. We're turning pro. 20 years old. Why not? Let's do it. Joe Martinez is inside the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds, we go to the scorecards. All three judges see it, 60-54. Your winner by unanimous decision. He is still undefeated, Eric Tudor. Goes the distance, six good rounds, sweeps the cards. 20-year-old Eric Tudor. But for the first time, doesn't get the stoppage, but gets the victory, stays undefeated, does Eric Tudor. So he's in the ring, and uh, Eric Tudor, you go make your zone debut, you show up on a Golden Boy card, so you get the ring interview after he only got the one glove off. Oh, somebody's got to help him out here. Get that other glove off. Before we get to the interview with Randy, let's look at some of the highlights from the sixth round between Eric Tudor and Dante Stubbs. What kind of guy was he, Bernard? Uh, Eric Tudor, as they move on, what did you like? I, I like that he was poised, but he also you know, kept his hands moving when he needed to. Good body shots, he's been throwing a few of them. I like to see him do more of that. You're gonna stop the bell, gentlemen. Sort of the same thing, combinations. Always, you know, responded when he got hit with a shot from Stubbs. Here again, another right hand. But, you know, I, I'm definitely impressed by his poise and his patience. And um, you know, he would see the things in his corner would see the things he didn't do, and I think he would correct them. Beautiful combination. I want to see more of that. We saw more of that as it progressed. He started, he got hit a couple times, but he looked good too. He looked good, and he got hit by Kevin Mack. And, and he was in there again with a guy that's tough, a guy that's rugged, and this, it's going to be a plus and not a negative for him in the future. Your winner by unanimous decision, defeated Eric Tudor. All right, so he gets the victory. Let's go inside the ring. Brandy Flores along with Eric Tudor. Eric, the first a complete fight in your career. Tell me, what was this learning experience like? It was a great learning experience, you know, being my first round, uh, six round fight, I was able to control the pace real good, move around good, so I'm happy with the way I dictated the tempo. I didn't rush, I didn't do nothing too crazy, so I'm happy with the performance. Yeah, and Stubbs kept trying to get you, had a lot of wild swings. How were you able to stay composed and finish with your game? You know, that's just what we've been working on in the gym. We've been working on boxing, being smart. 
So I knew, you know, I would get him eventually. So I just had to stay patient and compose. You stay undefeated. You're 20 years old. Tell me what's next for you. You know, I'm gonna get back in the gym, uh, study the fight, see what I need to improve on, and you know, we'll take it from there. All right, congratulations, guys.